Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Welcome and good night. Welcome. So how are you guys? How are you today? Tell me. Hello, Jenny. How are you? Uh, hello, I'm fine. I'm very well. <laughs> okay, perfect. Very nice, Jenny. Okay, welcome to Red Salvador, Roxana, Anna, Ever, Esther, and Noemi. Hello, how are you? Excellent. Okay. I'm fine. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. So, hello, guys. Welcome, you know, to a new class today. So, guys, today we are going to start, you know, unit number three, right? That means session three, right? So, guys, let me ask you something. Do, do we all finish section one and, and two? Do we all finish? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, I finished. Very nice, guys. Very nice. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, this week we are going, you know, to be in unit number three, session three, right? So if you have any inconvenience, if you're doing, you know, an exercise and we are not, you know, in that topic, because guys, you can do the homework. I mean, all the exercise, they are there anytime that you want, okay? Anytime you can do it, just remember that we have to pass it with that 80%, right? So guys, once you finish it, you know, uh, even though you can tell me, right? Teacher, I don't understand this, so I can explain you, okay? So, well, guys, welcome for the ones that are joining. Now, guys, let me, you know, share you. I have here, guys, a very interesting game for you, okay? Because we have a very interesting topic. So, before to start the class, let me share you the screen. So, let's see. Let's learn, you know, new vocabulary today. So, let's see. We are going to play our favorite game, right? So let's see, guys. Let's see. How do you call this in English, guys? Do you have an idea? These are cascadas, right? How do you say cascadas in English, guys? Help me in the chat box, please. In the chat box, type your answer if you know it, right? So I want to know, you know, about your vocabulary. How do you say cascadas, guys? Come on. Do you have an idea? Yes, no? Okay, I have here an answer from Delmi. Waterfall, okay, Delmi. Perfect, and what about the rest, guys? The rest, how do you say this one in English? Come on. Okay, ever say waterfalls, Jenny? Waterfalls, so guys, Cascadas, you say, yeah, waterfalls, right? Waterfalls, okay? waterfalls perfect now let's see what about this one guys what is this for you look at the picture okay how do you call this in english how will you say it if you are here how will you say it? let's see forest forest okay yeah forest it can be like yeah like forest but in this one in specific it's kind of different right guys so let's imagine um, that this is not a forest, right? Because forest, let's pretend the forest is where there are many trees, right? Many trees. But here we see some plants, right? Okay, I have ever jungle. Okay, jungle. So yeah, guys, this one is a jungle. Perfect. Now let's move on. What about this, guys? I'm not talking about just this space. I'm talking about all the, I mean, place here, all the place. So how do you call these guys? Let's see. In English, a store. Yeah, it's a store. Yeah, but in specific, how will you call it, guys? Let's see. Let's see who has the correct answer. Come on, guys. I want to see everybody. Let's see how will you call it. Give me anything that you know. Supermarket. Yeah, we can call it supermarket. Yeah, supermarket. What about the rest? Grocery store ever? Okay, perfect, very nice. So, and guys, yeah, so in this case, we're going to call this one grocery store, okay? Grocery store, perfect. And what about this one, guys? Where you can, you know, park all the cars, motorcycles, safety, okay. But how do you call these guys? Do you have an idea? 
Any idea, guys? How do you call this one? Parking, parking. Okay, yeah, we can call it parking. Okay, very nice. But there is, you know, some, you know, there is a word that is missing about parking because we call it like this, but there is something missing, guys. So let's see, parking, parking. Okay, who else? So guys, this one, we can call it parking lot, okay, parking lot. So, but you can say as well, parking, right, parking. But, you know, it's very common, parking lot, okay, parking lot, the parking lot, okay. So, and with this one, we finish. So guys, how are this exercise for you? I hope, you know, all of you know it, right? Because, you know, this is, you know, very basic vocabulary, right? So, Welcome for the ones that are joining. So guys, I'm going to ask you if, if everybody you know can turn on your cameras because remember that I'm taking into account the attendance list and the attendance list, I'm going to take it only with the ones that have the camera on, right? So look at the camera encendida, chicos, son los que le puedo tomar la asistencia, okay? So that's why you have to take, I mean, you have to have your camera on all the time. So perfect, guys. Now I'm going, you know, to share you this part for you, okay? So guys, I'm going to, you know, ask you this question because the topic that we are going to see today is related to this, right? So I want, you know, to measure your skill. I want to measure your English level and see how good you are, okay? So we have some questions, Saki. For example, what's in your town? I can say, well, in my town, there is... Um, Burger King that is close to my house. Um, there are so many grocery stores, okay? There are some um, charges, okay? And we have here, you know, is there any library near to your house? Yes, there is a library near to my house, okay? Just for example, are there any shops around your neighborhood? Do you know what is neighborhood, right? El vecindario, right? Now, is there any charge in your neighborhood? Is there any job center near to your house? And then, guys, we have this one. So we have this, you know, this monument, right? El Salvador del Mundo monument, this one, is in front of. So guys, I know that some of you know where is this, right? So you have to tell me uh, where the Salvador del Mundo is in front of. For example, I can say that it's in front of the dollar city, right? Because it's in front of it. And then we have Metro Centro is next to, to what, okay? You have to tell me the place. And then the Tunco Beach is far from, you know, far, right? So guys, we are going to discuss these questions, okay? So I'm going to send you this picture or you can take a screenshot or a photo by your own, okay? But I'm going, anyway, I'm going to send you to the WhatsApp group, okay? And what I want from you guys is to practice this question, okay? I want everybody to practice this question with their, I mean, group. So let me, you know, divide you. We are 17 tonight. So welcome for the ones. Let's see. Okay, perfect, very nice. Uh, let me make six groups, let's see. Okay, perfect, guys. Now you can accept the invitation and we can start practicing, okay? Let me send you the picture so you can practice, okay? And please accept the invitation, guys. Let's practice these questions, okay? Come on. Okay, perfect, guys. Okay, Edwin, if you can accept the invitation, please.
Hello, Lorena. Uh, we are practicing some questions. So let me assign you to a group, okay? Um, Lorena, if you can accept the invitation, please. Hello, Dina. Hello. So um, we are practicing, you know, um, right now this question. So let me assign you to a group so you can practice, okay? Hello, hello, Stephanie. Um, we are discussing some questions. Uh, well, these questions in groups, so, but they are coming. So let's wait here. They are coming right now, okay? So we are going to discuss these questions. Okay, so... Welcome, welcome back, guys. Welcome. So, guys, I hope you have practiced this question, right? Because we are going to put, you know, in practice this one, okay? I'm going to, you know, see some of you if you can practice this, okay? Let's see. Uh, who do I have here first? Um, let's see. Uh, Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Hello, Peter. Hi, Brenda. Let me ask you this question first. Uh, what's in your town? Tell me. In my town, mm -hmm. um, is any. Is any? The church. Uh, you can say some. Oh. Uh, well, you can say what's in your town. For example, you can say there are in my town, there are restaurants, there are hospitals, like, for example. Okay. Um, in my case, mm -hmm. they are church. Okay. Um, they are library. Libraries. In the library in the supermarket. And supermarkets. Okay, very nice. I like yes. it. Thank you, Renda. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Um, let's choose another one. So, Noemi, hello. Hello. 
Hi, let me ask you this question. Is there any library near to your house? Yes. In, in my house library near. There is a library I, near to my house. There is a library near to my house at the Universidad Nacional. Oh, really? Nice. Okay. Yes. That's perfect. Very nice. Thank you, Nomi. Thanks. <laughs> okay, no now well. let's choose a boy here. Let's see who do I have. So, hello, ever. Hello, teacher. Hi, ever. Let me ask you this question. Um, are there any shops around your neighborhood? In my case, uh, uh, in my neighborhood, mm -hmm. there are uh, any shops around. Okay, very nice, perfect. Now, um, let's see. Thank you, Ever. Now, let's see. Let's choose another one randomly. Um, I mean, someone who hasn't participated. Let's see. Um, Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Hi, teacher. Hi, Amber. Let me ask you this question. Is there any church in your neighborhood? Yes, there is a one church, Catholic. A Catholic church? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. um, how do you say parroquia? Parroquia, uh, Yeah, parro parro okay. parroquial. Parroquial, you can say, yeah. Parroquial. Okay. okay. Well, that's mm -hmm. nice, very nice. Now let's see, I'm going to choose, you know, people that have the camera off. So let's see, okay, I have here Sandra. Hello, Sandra. Sandra? Hello. Hi, Sandra, <laughs> let me ask you this question. Is there any shop center near to your house? No, no is it, no, no, no estás, okay. no is it near. Okay, you can say, no, there isn't any shop center near to my house. Repeat, please. Yeah, no, there isn't any shop center no. near to my house. No, mm -hmm. no there is no, there isn't mm -hmm. any shop. Mm -hmm. Any any Sh shop shop center near to my house. Center near near to my house. Okay, yeah, like that. Perfect. Thank you, Sandra. Okay, now let's see. Uh, well, we are you know running out of time, so I'm going to ask you know now this question. So. Guys, this is in general. So tell me, guys, give me so many options about this. El Salvador del Mundo Monument is in front of, of what, guys? Anyone. Anyone can participate. In front in of Telefonica Tower. Okay, yeah, nice. Telefonica Tower, perfect. Thank you, Eduardo. In, mm -hmm. in front of Pizza Hut. Santana. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, <laughs> in front of Pizza Hut, yeah. <laughs> Okay, in very nice. In front of McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah, of course, McDonald's is in front, yeah. What else, guys? Mm -hmm. In front of gas, gas station. Yeah, there is a gas station, yeah, of course, very nice. Now let's see this one, Metro Central. Metro Central is next to? Mm-hmm. Next to Metro Sur. Metro, yeah, yeah. Next to Metro Sur, of course, yes. What else, guys? Next to Parque Jardín Las Flores. Oh, Cementerio. Okay. Oh, the cemetery, okay. The graveyard. You can say graveyard, okay. Graveyard. Yeah, graveyard and cemetery. Okay. Now, um, what else, guys? I mean, there is an um, intercontinental hotel. You know, it's next door, right? Um, now let's go back to the last one. Altunco Beach is far from from where, guys? 
Mm -hmm. For Santana. <laughs> oh, yeah, for Santana. Yeah, yeah, very fast. Okay. Far from. What else, guys? Mm -hmm. Well, far from San Salvador is because it's far, right? It's from Chalatin, from San Miguel, right? Okay, guys. Now, you know, let's come on because, you know, I have here a conversation for you, okay? So this one, guys, you know, is for practicing, okay? But this one is related to the topic that we're going to see, right? So let's see. We have I'm your new neighborhood, okay? You know what is neighbor, right? Neighbor. So now we have Jack and Mrs. Day, right? Miss Day. Let's see. Excuse me. I'm your new neighbor, Jack. I just moved in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a grocery store. Are there any around here? Yes. There are some on Pine Street. Oh, good. And is there any laundromat near here? Well, I think there's one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping center too. A barber shop? Okay, guys. So let's see here, guys. First of all, let me ask you something. Do you understand this conversation? Yes, no? Everything is understandable. Is there any word that you don't know here, guys, or a phrase that you don't know? Okay. Don't be afraid. Okay, what guys? is laundromat? Laundromat. Laundromat is lavanderia. Okay. It's like laundry. Okay. Laundromat is like laundry. Okay. It's lavanderia. Okay. And any other word, guys, that you don't know? Yeah. Everything is clear. Yeah, Clarito, como Lord Chata. Yes? Yes. <laughs> okay, perfect, yes. guys. Very nice. I like it, guys. So now, you neighbor. know. Neighbor. Neighbor? Okay. Yeah, uh -huh. neighbor is vecino. Okay, vecino. Neighbor. Your neighbor. Yeah, neighbor. Vecina. Exactly. Vecino. And neighborhood. Thanks. This one, neighborhood, esta, es vecindario. Okay. Vecindario. vecindario. Yeah, neighborhood. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me, okay, guys, now, you know, I'm going to divide Thanks. you in pairs, okay? Now it's going to be in pairs so we can practice, okay? It will be, you know, really short, so I'm going to give you, you know, so few time. Let me see. Let me divide you so we can practice, right? Let's see. Yeah, we all are in pairs right now. Okay, guys, so you can accept the invitation. I'm going to send you the photo, or you can take a screenshot of photo, right? It's okay. So let me share you for you so we can practice, okay? Please accept the invitation. It will be really easy, right? Because it's not a too long conversation. So let's give you not only two minutes, okay? So come on, guys, let's practice. Don't be afraid. Okay, come on, guys. Teacher, no me aparece la invitación. Really? Okay. Uh, let me see. I'm going to send you the invitation, okay? Te voy a enviar dos porque no te puedo enviar otra vez. So, if you can accept the invitation then, okay? Thank you. Okay. Esther, Aide, please, if you can help me. Roxana, please. Who else is missing? Hola, mister. Ya. Yeah. Me estoy conectando, es que venía manejando. Me espera un ratito. Ok. Es que okay. me conecté con el teléfono, entonces, pero no sé, no sé por qué no puedo hablar cuando compartiendo con los compañeros. Pero oh. ahorita voy a encender la laptop. Dime, me. Ok, it's ok, ya. Yeah. No te preocupes. Ok. Um, very nice.
Hi. Teacher, oh, send yeah. me the invitation. <laughs> yeah. Well, now, Roxana, uh, do not worry, because, I mean, you know, the time for the practice finished. They are coming, so do not worry. But, ah. you know, you, you're going to practice here. Do not worry. I'm going to close okay. all the breakout rooms, so they are coming now. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Let's see. Si querías. Okay. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome. So guys, now, you know, we are going to practice this one, right? So let's see, I have here Jack. So Jack um, is going to be Roxana and Miss Dave is going to be Anna, okay? So let's start girls. Okay. I know they yeah. Excuse me, I'm your new neighbor, Jack. Is just moving in. Oh, yes. I'm looking for grocery store. Are there an around are there an, any around here? Yes, there are some on Pine Street. Oh good. And is there a laundromat near here? Well, I think there is one across from the shopping center. Thank you. By the way, there is a barber shop in the shopping centers too. A barber shop? Okay, thank you. Very nice. Thank you, Roxana. Mm -hmm. And uh, perfect, guys. So, well, I have all of you mm -hmm. have practiced this one, okay, guys? So now we are going to discuss a very interesting topic, okay? So, for the ones you know, they're always check the platform, you will see that there is, you know, this class, right? So guys, we are going to talk about there is, there are one, any, and some, okay, guys? So let's see. First of all, we have this one, okay? Is there a laundromat near here, okay? A laundromat near here, okay? Is there? This is a question, okay, guys? And we have possible answers, right? Let me first mute all of you, okay? So you can say, yes, there is, okay? There is one, okay, one, I mean, just one, right? Across from the shopping center, okay? Or you can say, no, there isn't, okay? No, there isn't, comma, but there is one next to the library, okay? So guys, here, uh, let me mute first all of you. So guys, here we have, the first question is with is, right? Is, is there. So this is, you know, singular, right? Singular, because I'm talking just about one, okay? A, okay, A means like one, right? A laundromat, okay? Is there, singular. You can, when it's singular, you can answer yes, there is, or no, there isn't, right? Then you can continue, you know, if you want to add extra information, there is one, you know, but there is one, okay? There is, okay, or there's, now, guys, in plural, we have this one as a question. Are there, and then we use this one, guys, any grocery stores around here? You can answer. Yes, there are. Let's pay attention to this one. Okay, guys, there are some, okay, nice store in Pine Street, okay? Some, okay? Or no, there aren't, but there are some on 3rd Avenue. No, there aren't any around here. So, guys, this is very easy, okay? So, any, guys, we are going to use any for questions, countable or countable nouns, and for negatives, countable or uncountable. But some, some we are going to use only some for positive or affirmative sentence, right? But teacher, here is negative. If you pay attention, guys, we say, no, there aren't, comma, okay? The comma separate the sentence, right? But there are some, okay? But there are some, okay? So this is, I mean, another sentence, right? So guys, you see, are there any? This is plural, right? Grocery stores, because you see stores. It doesn't say a store, it says stores, okay? Plural. 
So that's why we use R, okay? R, R there, okay? And any, you know what is N, right? And guys, besides that, we have as well this preposition of place. You see on, next to, near. Near means the same of close to, okay? This one are the same, que significa cerca, right? Near or close to, okay? Near to, close to. We have as well across from, okay? Across from is the same as of upside, okay? Upside. Is es lo mismo, right? Cross from and upside is, is the same. We also have in front of, you know what is in front of, right? In back of means the same as behind. No behind, behind, okay? We have between, okay, between, and on the corner of, okay? On the corner of. So guys, we have this preposition, right? Whenever, we are talking about places, right, in this case. So, for example, you can say the church is next to McDonald's. Um, Dollar City is in front of Salvador del Mundo, right, like this one. And we have, you know, this rest. So, guys, do you have any question about this one, about this vocabulary or about this one? Yes, no? Esas, esas preposiciones siempre van a ir precedidas, ya sea de is o de are. The preposition. Uh, yeah, you, yeah. Oh. Sorry. O hay excepciones. O sea, es decir, siempre es uh, the charge is on o is in front of o is between or oh, is on the corner of yeah exactly yeah we are going to use the bar to repeat oh, yeah well there there can be exemptions for example when you are speaking and if i ask you where is the shopping center and you all me and you can tell me ah next to um mcdonald's you can tell me like that right only mention this but yes um always is going to be the bird to be okay so for example, guys, let me, you know, create this for you so you can, you know, have a better idea, right? Let's see. Uh, guys, I have, for example, uh, let's see the place, right? Place plus bird to be, okay? Bird to be plus preposition, okay? And then let's see uh, the other place, right? another place or you can say complement as well place so let me make it bigger for you guys so you can see it very clear so guys i'm going to um tell you you know like the structure right about this so let's see guys a place let's see um an example the hospital okay a place now bear to v this is plural or singular guys Singular. And because it's singular, I'm going to use what verb to is. be? Is, exactly. The hospital is now preposition. Let's see, we have here the preposition. On, oh, next to, near, across. Let's see. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really hate this thing happen. Let's see. I guess I can close it. Let me... Okay, perfect. So guys, sorry. The hospital is, now let's see, next to the preposition, right? And then another place next to, uh, let's see, Metro Center, right? Like this, one. okay? Now let's do another one. Let's see, we can say as well, um, uh, let's see, restaurants, okay. This one, the place, there's a restaurant. This is singular or plural? Plural, plural right? Because plural. we are using the S, right? Singular, plural. Because it's plural, we are going to use what verb to be? R. R. R, perfect. The restaurant R. And let's see, we have, uh, let's see this one. Preposition behind. Let's see, behind the bar let's see 
Okay. Restaurantes están detrás del bar. You see? The restaurants are behind the bar. You can use this, you know, these rules, guys, that I'm giving to you in order to create it, right? So place, verb to be, preposition, and then the other place, right? Or places. It depends about you, right? How you can, you know, create the sentence. But yeah, like this, you are going, if you do it like this, it will be really okay, right? So this is a way that you can do it. But now, guys, let me, you know, because, you know, there are many information about this. Let me explain you more in detail, you know, about this. So I have here a page that I want to show you. So let's see. Okay, perfect. So let me show you the screen for you. Okay. So here, guys, let's see. We are going, you know, to use it. I have this page. This is in Spanish, so you can read it. It will be okay, right? So, guys, we have first some, okay? Cuando lo utilizamos, right? So some in Spanish means like algo de, right? Like this one, algo de, right? If you can translate it, algo de, or yeah, like this one. And it says que son lo utilizamos para oraciones afirmativas, okay? Affirmative sentence, okay? Solo para afirmativas, okay? Pueden ser para incontables, right? En este caso, vamos con incontables, right? So, for example, tenemos este. I have some money, okay? Tengo algo de dinero, okay? Some, algo de, right? There is some water in the bottle. Hay algo de agua en la botella, right? This is uncountable, right? Now let's see, para los contables, okay? Igual ocupamos some, pero siempre en positivo, okay? Y some en los contables significa algunos o algunas, right? For example, guys, there are some pictures on the wall. Hay algunas pinturas en la pared, okay? Wall significa pared, right? Wall. So there are, there are, hay algunas pinturas en la pared, okay? Algunas. Or quadros like this. We have this one. She's playing with some friend, playing with some friends. Okay, some friends. Ella está jugando con algunas o algunos amigos, right? So it depends, right? Okay. So some guys, in few words, you can use it for contables and uncountables. Okay, para contables e incontables, pero solo positivo. Okay, oraciones afirmativas o positivas. Now let's move on. We have any. So any, let's see, is, is the same for uncountables and countables. Any también es para contables e incontables. Y any significa nada de, okay? However, any, we are going to use it for negative, okay? Para oraciones negativas o para hacer una pregunta, okay? Any negative sentences or questions, right? So let's see. We have this example, I don't have any money. So this is negative, I don't, okay? No tengo nada de dinero, okay? Nada de. There isn't any water in the bottle. No hay nada de agua en la botella, you see? Y para pregunta, do you have any money? Tienes algo de dinero, you see? This, right? And we have another example to see. There aren't any pictures on the wall, okay? No hay cuadros o ningún cuadro en la pared, right? So, and we have this question. Are there any chairs in the room? So you see this is plural, right? Chairs. Are there, okay? Remember. And we have as well many, okay? We can use many. This is something extra, right, guys? Esto es algo extra. No va a venir en el... Eh, si no han hecho los quizzes, pues eso no viene, pero... Something else, right? Many, remember, are for, for countables, right? Y lo podemos usar también con negativas y preguntas, right? Aunque también afirmativas. So, por ejemplo, there aren't many pictures, okay? No hay muchos. Many, muchos o muchas, right? Eso significa. A lot of, que es más conocido, chicos, a lot of oh. indica lo mismo, right? Significa much or many, mucho, muchas, okay? Eso significa a lot of. And severa. Now let's move on to the part that is important for us, okay? Tenemos esto, okay? There is and there are, okay, guys? Dice que les usamos para declarar que existe algo o no existe, okay? So 
Básicamente, la traducción de there, guys, es como I, ok? I, ok? I, this one. So, we have this example, guys. We have, you know, for negative, we use there is not, right? Tenemos para positivo, primero vámonos con singular, ok? Con there is. Tenemos there is and there is not or there isn't, right? So, let's see. We have this example. Tenemos este. There is a bank near your house. You see? There is a bank. Hay un banco cerca de tu casa. Okay, esta es la traducción que dimos. Hay. Okay, there is. Okay, there is. Hay. Okay. A, un, bank, banco, right? Near, cerca, your house, de tu casa. You see? Like this. Y tenemos esta. There is one good restaurant down the street. Aquí, there's a park five minutes away. Okay, un parque cinco minutos de aquí. You see? Now, you know, in negative, there is not or there is, right? So there is not a bank near your house. No hay un, no hay, okay? There is not significa no hay, okay? No hay. There is not a bank near your house, okay? There isn't. Okay, it's in a par five minutes away, okay? Y there are prácticamente es lo mismo, okay, chicos? Que el there is solo que en plural, okay? Cuando estamos hablando de más cosas, right? So let's see, tenemos esta. There are two bookstores in the city, okay? Bookstores, okay? There are some, okay, pencils, okay? And like this one, guys. So well, now, guys. Do we have any question about there is, there are, um, about some, any, any question, guys? Alguna pregunta hasta aquí? Pregunta, duda, queja? No? Okay, very nice. So now, guys, need your help here, guys. Necesito su ayuda aquí. So tenemos esta. There is, what do you think, guys? Some or a? Ah, what do you think? A big notice. Board in the cross classroom wall. Hmm? Ah, perfect. Okay, let's see this one. There aren't computers in the music room. What do you think? We have any or something? Any. 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 Por qué es any, guys? Why is any? Because it is negative. Because negative. it is negative, perfect. So, okay. Now, me están diciendo que les comparta. Les voy a compartir esta página, chicos, aquí en el chat de Zoom, okay? So, si quieren ustedes igual revisar esta información después, so you can get it, right? You can copy and paste. Now, guys, yes, we use any because it's negative. Now, what about this one? A wardrobe in your bedroom. What do you think, guys? Is there or are there? Mm -hmm. Is there? Is there? Is there? Why is is there, guys? Por qué? It's singular. Because it's singular. Exactly. Is there? Is, mm -hmm. What is wardrobe? Okay, wardrobe. Wardrobe es un guardarropa. Es como decir closet, right? It's the same. Wardrobe, okay? Guardarropa o armario, right? It's the same. Now let's see this one. Are there? Students in the science lab. What do you any. think? Any. Any. Yeah, any. Perfect. There are magazines on the table. Some. 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 Okay, perfect. Some. And, why, and why is not any? Por qué no es any? Because, because it's affirmative. Because it's affirmative. Perfect. Now this one. Is there it's any... Affirmative. Exactly. Is there any swim pool at your school? Yes. Which one, guys? There is. There is. There is. Perfect. Okay. Any books on the desk? There aren't. Aren't. There aren't because it's negative, right? Yeah. We use any, right? Perfect. Negative. And the last one. This one, guys. There. There's, there's there's perfect yeah like this one so perfect guys now let me ask you any questions so far preguntas yes no 
Everything no, clear, no. perfect. Okay, guys. Now we are going to make this exercise, but this one will be individual, okay? So first of all, let me show you for you, okay? Déjame primero mostrarles so you can get it, right? So we have this one. There a black armchair in the living room. Armchair, guys, es como el, el sillón personal, right? This one, armchair in the living room. So what do you think is the correct one here? Is, isn't, are, or aren't? Okay. Is. There is. Why is there is, guys? Por qué? Because it's singular. Because yeah. it's singular yeah. and there is one, right? Porque singular y hay uno ahí. So you have to look at the picture, okay? So, oh, there is sorry. Because it's orange. Oh, yeah, it's orange. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So here, thank you. Who say he's orange? Mm -hmm. So yeah, guys, like it's a black, right? Black, you know, it's black, right? So ah, perfect. Okay. So there isn't. So that's why yeah. we have to look at the picture, right? Tenemos que ver la imagen y ver si es cierta o no. So that's why we are going to look for it, okay? Let's see this one. There a pink bath, okay, in the bathroom. So what do you think, guys? First of all, let's primero identifiquemos. This is singular or plural? Singular. Perfect. Singular. Because it's singular, we are going to use is. So now we have to identify if it is positive is or negative. So negative. a pink bath in the bathroom. Let's see. Is yeah. Because the bath is this one, right? In no is pink, no is color pink. Now you have guys to finish this one. Okay. Now it's your turn. Okay. So this is, you know, this is going to be individual. Okay. But said individual. You know how it works, right? Yeah, let's mando the link aquí and el chat de Zoom so you can copy, right? Y déjenme mandárselos también al grupo de WhatsApp by any chance, okay? So once you finish this exercise, take the screenshot or the photo and send, you know, to WhatsApp group, okay? To the WhatsApp group with your name, okay? So you can copy the link is already here in the chat box, but let me share you as well on the WhatsApp group. But if you have any question, let me know, please, okay? We have to finish this exercise, okay? Voy a necesitar el teléfono. Okay, guys, if you have any questions, you can let me know, okay? Remember, look at the pictures and see, first identify if it is, you know, singular or plural. If you identify it, you know that you only have two, right? Then you have to look at the picture and see if it is true or not, right? So it will depend if it is negative or not. And then you will get it, right? So come on. I will send you as well, guys, the link of the information in the WhatsApp group, okay? So you can get it. Okay, come on, guys.
So guys, remember as well that we are working in unit number three, right? Unit number three, sorry, <laughs> number three. And if you haven't finished unit one and second, remember that you have to don't that, right? So come on, let's see. If you have any question, just let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, Heather, thank you very much, okay. So perfect score, thank you, very nice. Okay, what about the rest, guys? Come on, let's finish this exercise. And if you have any question, please don't hesitate and tell me, okay? Because we are learning, right? So come on, guys. Let's give you know, some minutes for the ones that hasn't finished. Remember that you have to send the screenshot or photo to the WhatsApp group, right? Remember, guys. Okay, very nice. Roxana, Deb, thank you, very nice. Okay, guys. Okay, I'm receiving you. Okay, very nice, guys. So let me ask you for the ones that have finished this one, para los que han terminado, how was this exercise? It was easy for you? Did you get all of them? Or do you think it was difficult? Tell me, guys. Mm-hmm. For me, it's a, little, really? it's a little difficult. Okay, a little Sorry. difficult. Okay. Yes, because because I don't see uh, in three sentence mm -hmm. or question um, is plural. Ah, plural. Yeah, yeah. We have to to be care about that. Remember, for example, here this is plural, right? Because four. I'm talking four, right? Four chairs. Okay. So in this one, one, two, three, four. So there are, right? There are, because that's true, okay? Yeah, we have to be careful. If you see an S, so, and we have here the number two, is because it's plural, right? So we have to be careful about that. But nice, guys, very nice. And what about the rest? It was difficult or it was easy? Tell me. Mm-hmm. Yes, guys, easy or difficult? For me, easy, but uh -huh. is uh, pay attention um, for yeah. the plural on singular. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So guys, I believe... Mm -hmm. Okay, so I believe that the, you know, the most difficult part was, you know, to look at the picture, right? And, and see if it is positive or negative, right? So perfect, guys. Now, you know, because we are running out of time, guys. Before, you know, uh, let me share you here. This is something extra. I know that some of you know this, but there are some that not, right? So that's why I'm going to show you this. So guys, you know the use of a and an, right? So guys, we are going to use a whenever there is, pay attention, not a consonant, but the sound of a consonant, right? And the same of this one. And when there is a sound of bubble, okay? Vamos a utilizar a, chicos, cuando le prosigue un sonido, okay? Sonido, no una consonante, sino que el sonido de una consonante, okay? So we have this example, a lamp, okay? L lamp, right? L, a door, a house, and we are going to use it cuando hay un sonido de vocal, right? For example, an apple, an elephant. What well, about the word? Uh, let's see, guys. Vamos a ver if we got it. Let's see. ¿Qué pasa si? Let's see. Con la palabra uh, our, guys. ¿A dónde diría? Our. Here or here? And. and and exactly and because our right is a bubble sound our 
Very nice. Let's see now this one. And this one, guys. Which one? A or N? A. A universe. You, perfect. You, because it's not U, right? It's you. Like, like if you say um mm. this one, right? You, like this one. So that's why it's A. Uh, perfect, guys. So we got it. I like it. So we know this. Uh, but anyone has a question about this? Alguien que todavía tenga una duda de esto? Yes, no? No. No? So we got it. Okay. Okay. Very nice. So, guys, uh, let me, you know, share, first of all, my screen. So, guys, I guess everybody finished this exercise. So thank you, guys. Now, guys, um, we have, you know, this unit, right? So for this unit, do not worry, okay? Don't hesitate because, you know, we are going to see this unit, you know, all this week. So do not worry, okay? So, guys, here we have some questions. If you haven't finished, it's okay. Si no la terminado, it's okay. We can finish, okay? Tomorrow we can see, okay? But if you finish, that's really nice, okay? So you can advance with the rest, right? Now, guys, I'm going to send you this, well, this exercise. So let's see, guys. What do you think is the correct answer, A or B? Okay. Yes. A. 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 Perfect. Why yeah. is letter A, guys? Por qué es A? Because the pronunciation is uh, orange. Perfect. So we're going to use an cuando un sonido vocal le procede, right? An orange. Perfect. Now, what about this one, guys? A or B? B. 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 Perfect. B. Because, B. vamos a ocupar A cuando el sonido sea consonante, right? Chair, chair. Perfect. What about this one, guys? Notebook. It B. is a notebook, this one? A. 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 Perfect. Yeah. There B. Now, now, this one, guys. Is a. a a perfect, and this one B B B yeah B. elephant B. because it's bubble right? It's an avocado. Perfect. Okay, guys. So I guess we get it right. So well, you know, guys. Now for tonight, you know, this is so because we are you know out of time. So thank you very much for being here, guys, on time, right? So next class, you know, we are going to continue with this one. And we are going to see, you know, new vocabulary about cities. And we are going to continue with the prepositions, okay? So guys, nice to see you tonight. And I hope you have a good night, okay? See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care, guys. Good night, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye